Hello YouTube. Thanks for joining me. This is Katie and I'm here with a Yoni artwork that I had recorded the painting of. This artwork is available for instant download for some of my Patreon subscribers and the video itself is available over there but it goes for half an hour and this video that you're watching here is about 10 minutes and uh, the major difference is that this video has been sped up um, about three times as fast as the video over there on Patreon. I've put a link to my Patreon and also my social media, my Facebook and Instagram in the description box below. So check that out if you want to find out more about that. And please like and subscribe. Also over on my Instagram, I show a lot more of my artworks as well. But for now, let's have a look at this uh, watercolour Yoni painting that I'm uh, doing here. It is a very fast recording. Um, it's was a painting that I worked on over about three days but I started with the initial washes and now I've been putting in some detail with a smaller um, brush which will uh, control the amount of pigment that I'm dropping onto the paper. I don't want big amounts of pigment, I'm looking for fine adjustments of the colour. So this is the second washer that I'm putting on now. I'm building up shapes and outlining areas that I want to have more saturation. Like you can see the clitoral hood, I've left that even with some of the natural paper there. I'm doing that so I can reserve my white of the paper. Here I'm using my Uniball Signo in angelic white. It's a white ink in a pen and it's fabulous for actually being able to create a build up with line work or using it in areas that you want to add some light. This is a coloured pencil that I'm coming in. So it truly is a mixed media artwork. Um, again, working with building up line. My pen, this is watercolour that I've come in here with and um, an acrylic brush which I'm using to soften some hardened lines, some hard edges and an area where I want to have soft edges and reserve some of the white um, which gives a um, an illusion of light. So by putting in some darker colours around the outside of the painting I was aiming to create a more of a negative shape and pushing the yoni itself forward to the eye um, at this point bringing in some warmer colours also one of the rules of watercolour is that um, warmer colours come forward cooler colours go backwards so it's always the warmer colours that are going to catch your eye so putting on that bright yellow and um, the blue bluey pinky colours which are the cooler colours in the background it's trying to make a bit of an optical illusion for the eye um, I am actually looking at doing some watercolour classes at the moment. I've organised for a group of students and I'm pretty excited to be doing the fundamentals, watercolour and art fundamentals, and also um, thinking in the future of doing some online classes where I can go into a lot more detail than a small video on YouTube about the, the why of what I do within my paintings. Here I am creating a bit of an oval shape around the Yoni lips that you can see here and kind of giving some context to the labia that I had painted and uh, of course this dries a lot um, lighter, watercolour always dries lighter so it's a good idea to come in heavier to begin with knowing that firstly you can most of the time you can dab out with some paper towel or a tissue like I did then. You can dab out some colour and it will always dry lighter. Uh, you can see on the side there that I put my hand in the actual pigment on the paper. So I went in with a brush and some clean water to lift that up. People think that watercolour isn't very forgiving but it actually is. 
yeah, it, you can't paint over it to reveal the white of the paper again. Acrylic, of course, you can put some gesso over the canvas and you can have it back to new again. But with watercolour, it's not as easy. But if you catch something early, you can always lift it out and using the right coloured, um, knowing the properties of the pigments that you're putting down as well. So here is my white pen again. Um, there's a couple of different thicknesses. I really like the fine one the most, but it um, depends on how big the artwork is. And I use these pens on my watercolour paper artworks. I also use them in my diary and I use them on um, my acrylic artworks as well. Thank you so much for joining me to have a peek into my creative process. If you'd like to see more of these videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, give me a comment of what you would like to see. If you have any questions about my art, what I do or why, um, pop them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. And if there are some questions that are really good ones, I'll make a video on them. Thanks so much for joining me here on YouTube and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Bye.